Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you the brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. And in this episode, we are going to be building this windmill or grain mill, whatever you want to call it. It's pretty straightforward. If you come inside, we've got a nice little grinding wheel right here. It comes down from the ceiling, some torches on the wall for light. And those actually aren't supposed to be there, so just uh, just just pretend you don't see these uh, andesite thingies there. Yeah. But anyway, this is what we're going to be building. Now this series, if you are new to it, basically this series I show you how to build stuff in 15 minutes or less. And all of the builds in this series are meant to be kind of starting points. So uh, just to kind of give you some ideas and some inspiration, if you want to go ahead then and, you know, decorate the size a little bit more, stuff like that, feel free to do so. I am working in a 15 minute time frame. So that is pretty much the gist of it. We are going to be building it facing this way instead. So it'll be kind of a reverse, but let's go ahead and put 15 minutes on the clock starting right now. So let's see. The first thing that we're going to want to do is place down the base and it's going to be andesite polished andesite just like this then we'll go like that and it'll be five corner corner one two three four five corner Oop, corner corner one two three four five corner corner so it's basically going to be a big giant circle then we'll go ahead and hollow out the floor just like this and we will replace the whole floor with spruce wood planks so let's go ahead and do that and then in the middle the next thing that we will be building will be the wheel the big grinding wheel the mill wheel I'm not super familiar with the uh, what the exact terminology is, but basically it'll be the big grinding stone that they use to actually make this stuff. So first, right in the middle, we're going to put a cobblestone wall, and then all around it, we will do something like that. Then we'll go ahead and grab ourselves some stone stairs, and we'll just put them around the edges like this. There we go. And then we'll end up bringing this up fairly high. We'll end up bringing it up a bit higher later, but we'll just put it up there for now. Okay, now the next thing that we'll wanna do is take spruce wood and go one, two, just like this on each of these corners, like so. There we go. We will knock out a space right here for the door. We'll take some wool, just plain old white wool, and fill these bits in. Oh, misplaced one there. There we go, and I just realized I misplaced that as well. There we go. And just like so. Now, after that, on top of it, we will put some spruce wood planks. And we'll bring these around like this. There we go. So it'll look like that. Now, after that, we're going to go ahead and put in the polished andesite, which will go down here. And all around the edge like this. Ooh. And we'll bring that in as well. So it'll look like that. Now, in these corners, once again, one, two, one, two, with the spruce wood logs. So we're just leaving a gap of one right here in these corners. We'll fill those in with wool as well. Just like so. And like that. Now on top of that, we will once again do spruce wood planks. 
But one difference here is that for these, for this layer, we're actually going to fill in the whole thing. So it'll look like this once it's all said and done. We're just going to leave a gap right here where that big stone rod goes down. And on top of that stone rod, we're just going to put one block of andesite, just like that. Now, here, we are going to go andesite again. And it's going to be just one, two, three, four, five on each side. Like so. And then here, we'll go one, two, three, although it's basically just two higher than the andesite. like that or actually I'm sorry that's not right it's actually three higher than the andesite and with an andesite block on top of each of those then we'll take our wool and fill those walls in let's get rid of this rain there we go And we should end up with something that looks pretty much like this. Now we'll take spruce wood planks and fill in this top bit right here. We will fill in this bit right here. And then we'll just put one of those right there and some spruce wood stairs all around it. So there we go. That is the main part of the windmill, looking just like that. Now next, uh, let's see, our door and therefore our front is right over here. So what we will do now is take some spruce wood. We're going to bring that out four. Underneath it, we'll put a spruce wood fence. And then we don't need the spruce wood fences anymore, so we'll take spruce wood slabs and bring it out like that. Now, all around this final block, we're basically just gonna make a little box with these spruce fences, and this is where we do the blades, and this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So, we will take spruce wood planks like this, and go here, and then we're basically going to go up Ooh. like this and we'll knock these ones out and I believe we should have a total of five spruce wood blocks so that is one two three four so we need to go one more we need to go one more there we go and then we will take our wool and put it like this, one more fence, and like so. So it will look like that. Now we're basically going to mirror the same thing around all the edges. So we'll go like this. There we go. And we'll go ahead and knock out each of those. There we go. And that should be five blocks. Now we'll take the white wool and do basically the same thing. So for each of the blades, you're going to have five spruce blocks and six pieces of white wool so it will look like that okay and then what you do is you'll count over and over one more so the next spruce block will go here and then we'll just bring it down oh like like come on there we go like so and then we'll knock 
each of these out. So there you go, spruce wood, spruce wood, spruce wood, and spruce wood. That gives us our five. And then we'll take our white wool and put that over here. And like so. Just like that. And then finally, we have one more of these left to do. And we'll just bring the fences up like that. And we'll go and put these in here. So once again, we'll have the five spruce blocks. We'll take the wool and mirror it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So that gives us our blade or our windmill blade pattern. Now it's time for a little bit of detail work. You can see it's nice and dark in here and we don't want that. So let's grab ourselves a spruce wood door to put right here. We'll grab ourselves some torches and then we'll use an old Minecraft trick. We'll take the item frames. We're just going to put them in these middle ones along the row of andesite. Put an anvil in the middle of each of those. And then a torch as well. And that will make this nice and lit up. And there you have it. That is pretty much the majority of the windmill all done like that. Now, you may want to do some other things to kind of decorate it. Maybe take some coarse dirt and kind of, you know, make a little pathway or something that leads to it. Something along these lines. I don't know. Doesn't have to be anything stupendous or amazing. We can maybe take some, uh, some, let's see, where is the bone meal? Let's just search for it. We'll just take some bone meal maybe, and just kind of bone meal around it a little bit, you know, just something along these lines, just to give it a little bit of texture and variance. I think there's way too many flowers over here, so we'll maybe knock some of those out. I think the the red stands out just a bit too much. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I'll just kind of get some of those out of there. I think once again we have a few too many flowers over here, so we'll maybe get rid of a couple of those. Maybe inside we could come in here and take some uh, some thatch or some hay bales, whatever you want to call them, and maybe just kind of put them along the edge over here, something like that, I don't know. You know, I, I think that we'd probably have thatch and stuff in a windmill, so maybe just some stuff like this. You know, whatever you want to do. Just kind of, I'm, I'm sure you are perfectly capable of kind of finding your own ways to decorate this. But as for this build, I'm going to go ahead and call this one done. I have 12 minutes and 32 seconds on the clock. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it, and it really, really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.